Yes, people, what you're saying? Me, Ben Hatchet, I'm back. You know what I mean? As we're back on the positive now, I'm back to doing my good, do best. I'm on my way now to meet up with um, a legendary boxer. Um, I'm honored to call him friends, Martin Murray. So, yeah, and he runs um, a youth project, so we can go down there and find out a bit more about it. Uh, we spoke previously once, when I feels if I was about, about coming up and doing a talk with some of the troubled youth, help try and change the narrative. So, you know, this is what I'm good at, and I'm excited. It's been a while since I've done this, but I'm actually really excited. So I'm literally on my way there now, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna film it, film bits of it and that today to be able to put up so everybody can watch. And yeah, man, I'm like really excited. And Martin, you know, Martin himself is such a nice guy, legendary boxer. I remember when I was away, uh, when he actually fought in Channel 5 against Triple G, Golovkin. And I remember being in prison watching that. And then, you know, not so long ago, I was at an event. Um, yeah, and I got talking to him and that. And then he knew I was as well, so that was mad. And he said about, he was setting up this uh, project. Um, I can't remember the name of it, but we're about to find out. And I just remember about being with Troubled Youth and all that. And he said he'd love me to come up one time and do a talk. So I'm excited, you know, and hopefully I can get through to some of the youth, you know. There's not a lot I haven't done. I've been there myself, so if I can say anything today, just gonna, you know, try and, you know, plant the seed, you know, help the ripple effect, and try and help. Oh, Barry. But yeah, try and help change the narrative, man. So that's what it's about. So I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, remember to subscribe if you haven't hit the like button. Let's go. See who I am. Here I am now. The man is doing it right now. Oh, look, that's that fight I was on about. Well, I said I was away when I watched that. Well, it's good, man. It's that little chat, then. So, 11 o'clock, he's telling me we're going to talk to the youth. They're like, they can't go to mainstream school and um, trouble. I think they're year 10 at school. So, it's probably about 13 and 14, which I'm going to relate to because I went to that sort of kind, kind of school now as well. You know, I was always getting kicked out and that. So, yeah, I'm really excited about this, man. And, I'm in. I might call him out for a little spar and all, do you know what I mean? Shine on my back, you know what I mean, eh? Yes, Martin, what are you saying? How are you doing, mate? You all right? Yeah, good, good. See ya. Does everyone come up to St. Helens to come and see Martin Murray and talk to you today about the project that you're running? Yeah. So, um, no, tell, you want to tell us about it? Yeah, so basically, it's, it's like an early intervention program for kids who are or struggling from maintaining the school place, but kind of getting involved in, in crime and going down the wrong path, like, you know, um, that's what happened to me. So I was obviously brought up around, that like my dad was in prison as I was a kid. Um, I was brought up around that. Um, it was natural for me to not like the police, you know what I mean? And um, so I suppose it was inevitable that I was, was gonna end up in prison, which he did, mm. uh, went in prison, at, I've been in prison four times, but I was never a bad lad. Do you know what mm -hmm. I mean? I just, I, I, I wasn't aware of the choices that were there for me. Um, so that's all we're doing with these young kids now, we're raising awareness. I mean, l luckily I was, um, I had the chance to turn my life around, um, which I did through changing my mindset and obviously with the support from my wife and boxing. That was the only thing that I had, I had left to do at that moment in my life. And I dedicated to boxing, obviously, um, I fought all around the world, I had a career that I think it was nearly 15 years, um, I had a good career. Yeah. But um, like I was saying, that, that there's a lot of people who don't get that chance, that was that chance for me, there's a lot of people who don't, these young kids who don't have that chance, it was just about me, just kind of giving them the tools to make positive life choices and mm -hmm. I, I, make, I make the right decisions in life, like, so they don't obviously just become another yeah. statistic like you know that's good that you're doing it man that, that's obviously why it means a lot of that too when you've been through it yeah so yeah myself obviously i've been through it and that as well so it's good seeing people especially a platform like yourself to actually give them back and that yeah. a lot of people just come from it get out and just think do you know what i mean yeah, so, yeah, so no, nice. that's, that's why I'm, one of the yeah, reasons yeah. i come up all the way martin i know but obviously i've seen your podcast you know what i mean been on the podcast circuit in it yeah. and i know you're still in that as well and then when we spoke up in wales i see you doing yeah, it. So yeah. like coming up that's what I thought, you know. I know, I mean? and you know what, fair play then, because obviously we met down south, it was a bit of a chance meeting really, wasn't it? Yeah. And you did offer your services, and I was like, you're so relatable to these kids. Mm -hmm. um, they, honestly, mate, I can't tell you how much they'll take from your talk. I'm really looking forward to, to seeing it. 
shortly. But I thought you had a lot of people just saying it. You mm -hmm. actually messaged me yesterday, yeah. said I'm up, can I do something? So fair play, mate. Fair yeah, play. And it's obviously as passionate to you as it is to myself. Like, yeah, you know. it is. It is. It's, it's like it is about giving back. And I think that's the one. I like what you just said then. You just don't want them to be another. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Trapped in the system. Oh, I come from this farm, surely care and all that. Yeah. And that's why I like trying to tell the youth and that today, man. Like, if you do have that sort of sense, that belief in your head, and yeah, yeah. you've got someone trying to like spark that in them, they can go on to do something. Course, you haven't got to be yeah, trapped in that sort of system, going to jail, getting not that's non that non self belief. Do you yeah. know what I mean? And that's what today yeah, but you, I'm going to try and show them today. You, yeah, which which they will say at last minute, but you know. A lot of people once they're in there, they don't get out. No, do you know what I mean? So no, it's, it's you, we've got to prevent as many of them as getting into that system as we can, which yeah. is obviously why I'm doing what I'm doing, why you're doing what you're doing. So I know that they're going to take loads from yourself today, mate. Yeah, nah, definitely, man. It's going to be good, man. I'm excited. And then after we might have a little bit of paddy. Yeah, mate. If you want to, yeah. If you want a <laughs> bit of paddy, mate, mate, just let us know. Come on, some, yeah. yeah got some more. Got some more. Anyway, if not, come on. Yeah, I mean. So I might, what's that, man? <laughs> yeah. What kind of things trigger you off? Anything. Like, well, give me an example. Yeah. And then you feel like they're trying to belittle you and taking the piss, and and then you just run around and yeah. start going mad. Yeah, you gotta be careful. That's a thing called ego. And um, I remember once someone told me ego is something that can really get you in trouble. You know, it's like it's like being prideful and etc. Do you get what I mean? And that, that's the kind of like what I learned was important for me. What I learned was a big changing thing for me was is is trying to let go of things. Do you get what I mean? There's, there's something called a ripple effect, and that one action, that one word, can have a bigger effect. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? We've just done about consequences this morning, haven't we? About how it doesn't just impact on you. Your anger and the things that you do don't just impact on you, do they? They have a big effect on the people around you. We've Absolutely. Just done that then. I see it like you know the consequences. It wasn't just me going to prison. It was you know the, my the, the little family I did have, and my friends and all that. I'm not there no more. You know I had a sister. I missed the birth of my my nephew. You know Christmases. Do you get what I mean? It's all about consequences. It's, like, it's at that time when when you lose your head and you go mad. It's, it, it's difficult to try and take it in, but that's the time you really have got to really think because before you know it, you're going to get older and you're going to find yourself in these situations and I'm, you'll be in a situation where you think, I didn't think this would happen to me. And I promise you, kids, that if you keep going down that troubled path and you keep, if you get mixed up with worse and worse, it does only end one way and you will end up going to prison for a long time and you'll find yourself in situations that you'll just be like living a nightmare. Do you get what I mean? How old were you when you first went away? When I first went away, I was 15. 15? Yeah, I was 15. So and what, and what was that for? That was like, that, that was like you know, they class it as sort of petty crimes. So that was like, you know, I, I, I was afraid of being home. I didn't want to be at home in, in like a car or go out and I'd go hang around with like the older kids. Yeah. But a lot of the thing is, you've got to remember, a lot of the older kids will use you and that as well. You know, there's a, there's a word for it now called counting lining and things they wouldn't do. They know you're trying to show off in that term, so they'll try and get you in that to do it. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. And you'll want to do it because you're young and you'll try and press the older kids. Like, oh, I'll do that and they'll look after me, they'll protect me. And that's what it was. I was just getting used by a lot of the older kids to go and smash that window, go rob that from the shop, go hit him. Do you get what I mean? And that's what it is. And that's what you've got to be very mindful as well. Was like a lot of older kids will try and use you. And that, that's one thing. If I could go back and I could see it, and I really hope you take that in today. Just be careful of older kids trying to use you because they will. And so, yeah, and that, I went away for a kid. I was always trying to be a follower. I was always trying to show off. And, yeah. So, so then, after that, mate, what, what led you on to the, the, big, the big sentence? Again, that, that's what, one of the things I'm trying really, really, I really want you boys to take in today because it is, what I'm telling you today is important. Regardless what you think of me here now, you might think I'm just another old git who's coming trying to tell you do this, do this. You know what I mean? You've heard it all before. But really be careful of, of, of like, you know, trying to mix, trying to show off with, with older kids that you think are cool, they're popular, you know, because they will use you and that I was used. And 
I, w I was involved with a, a very serious crime at 17, and it was knife crime. And um, I was really egged on to do that. You know, I was really, really egged on, you know, and that cost me, I was sentenced to like, just under, I got just under five years in, in young offenders. And I tell you what, when you go to young offenders, mate, it's hectic, you know, and if you really ain't about, and if you ain't fully hearted, committed to that violence, you, you have people extorting you, bullying you, and you're, you're, there's always people, no matter how hard that you kids might think you are, there's always someone bigger and harder around that corner, and they come in numbers, and it's the most intimidating place you can ever. Imagine just sitting there, no Christmases, not seeing your friends, you know, got to ask for bloody toilet roll. All these kind of things, just sitting in a room. Can I just ask, was this morning we've been doing about consequences? Yeah, yeah. Of, of carrying out. Just, well, yeah, we just, we just, yeah, we just touched, yeah, yeah. So I call it the ripple effect. Yeah, it yeah, is consequences, yeah. but I call it like a ripple yeah, effect. Yeah, you know, like, yeah. you got the pond. Yeah. You know, like, if you throw a pebble in the pond, it makes the, the circles. Yeah. And that's like what I, how I learned it was like, that one word you say, that one action you do, yeah. mm -hmm. has a bigger effect that you actually don't know about. Yeah. Like, you know, when I was involved in that knife crime, mm -hmm. you know, it was, it wasn't just me affected by going to prison, it was my people that cared about me, they was affected. Yeah. My victim, he was affected, his family were affected. Yeah. The police, the ambulance people, everyone coming, it's effects. People, witnesses might have seen that. It could have had a bigger effect then, they might have seen that, and you might have traumatized someone's head. Do you get what I mean? You might have messed them up in the head by seeing that. And you could have triggered their mental health. You know, and that's, it is definitely being mindful about the words that you choose and about the actions you do. You know, you might get to someone, say someone takes a piss at your school. I'm gonna go punch him in his face. So, you know, you don't really, you might not understand the TAW. What do, you think, what do you think it stands for? What do you say it stands for? No, no guesses? PTW. Yeah, I'm using it. I'll push something like that where I just can't. Yeah? Piss take something like that. <laughs> I was waiting for something Ghost like that. Energy. God, no. <laughs> I love it. No, it means prove them all wrong. And that, that, that's really what I stand by. And look, when a lot of people in this life, because you're going to face so many challenges, lads. You really are, man. The world is not great, gritty in that place. You are going to have emotional difficulties. You're going to have life coming at you at times. So let's be being real with you. I'm not here to paint this lovely picture. I'm here to be honest and be real with you. As I wish I had someone telling me, you're gonna face so many difficulties out there, but you've always got to believe in yourself. And when people doubt you, you've got to prove them all wrong. And you've got to make sure you try and channel your energy, find what it is that you will enjoy do doing. Like use a project like this, you know, really think about what it is in life that you want to do, like something in life you would like to achieve and put all your energy into that. And I swear down, and I promise you, it, it will happen. If you have a thought in your head, you have a vision in your head, that's something you wanna do, you wanna achieve, you wanna prove people are wrong, commit yourself to it. Put your heart into it and go get it. And don't let anyone tell you you can't do it, because you can. I promise you can.